It's always difficult to know what to say about uh, a nib clock like this. Um, it's just perfection personified. Um, the detail of the presentation with the ebony case, the silver mounts, the silver chapter ring, the silver hands, um, the silver mount in the middle. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. And it's also an interesting clock in its own right, in that it's one of the very, very few clocks that is dated uh, 1677. And he claims in it on the back plate that he not only made it, but he invented it. And there's two things he can be claiming as the invention. Um, the first is the Roman striking, because you will find on the majority of clocks that the Roman numerals here cheat and the, they put her a four. Well, four bars is not a Roman uh, figure. And so that all the other clocks with four bars uh, strike one, two, three, four, five, six. This strikes Roman striking one, two, three, IV, V. So it goes ping, 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 pong, 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 ping. Um, and that saves all the energy because when you get right up to 10, 11, 12, you have a lot of pings in a conventional clock. So I think this is what he's claiming as the invention rather than the escapement itself. And as people have argued about escapements and who invented what over the years. And this has a tic-tac escapement. Um, but I think that Nib here in his Invain It and Fake It um, invented and made this clock is claiming the Roman striking.